Okay guys, let's get started. So yesterday we had a writing homework that was all about our reading comprehension. So our reading comprehension was all about simple tools. We learned about six different simple tools that help us in everyday life. Now the first homework that I want to look at is Zwi Ming's. Well done Zwi Ming. So this is what Zwi Ming wrote. What we had to do for homework was we had to look at the pictures and then tell which simple machine would best help this person in this situation. So number one has a picture of a boy with some toys in a go-kart. Now he wants to get them up the stairs. So the best answer for this, I think, would be an inclined plane. So as Wee Ming wrote, the boy needs an inclined plane because an inclined plane is easy to move things, especially up and down stairs. Number two, the situation is that a boy wants to get a bottle of Coca-Cola, but his hands are very, very full. So he's got a lot of shopping in his hands. So what do we think that he needs? Well, as Wee Ming said, that the boy needs a wheel and axle to put the things he is holding and take one of the bottles, which is perfectly true. I think that the wheel and axle is probably the only answer that would work for this one. So some people said a lever. Now a lever wouldn't really help because a lever is used to remove things or raise things. So a lever wouldn't help in this situation. I think the only thing that would help here is a wheel and an axle. So essentially a shopping trolley. So well done, Zwi Ming. The next homework is Dami's homework. So well done, Dami. Let's see what Dami wrote. Dami wrote an inclined plane because the wagon has wheels, so they roll. The ramp has one end taller than the other, and it is flat. Therefore, the stairs are not flat as the ramp is. So here Dami was saying that again, we should use an inclined plane, which would be a ramp, to easily move the wheeled cart up the stairs. So well done, Dami. Um, and the second picture, he said that a wheel and axle should be used because then he doesn't have because he doesn't have enough space to hold all the food. So a wheel and axle should be used to put all the food into to easily move around. That's perfect. And finally, Simon. Well done, Simon. So Simon said, the inclined plane can help the wheelbarrow go up easily. So here he said that we should also use an inclined plane, like a, sl like a slant or a ramp, to easily get the go-kart up the stairs. In the second picture, Simon said, the wheel and axle help the boy. Ah, sorry, the wheel and the wheel and the axle will help the boy to carry everything. The wheel and the axle will help the boy to carry everything. So if we have a wheel and an axle like a shopping trolley, we can put all of the items in one basket and wheel it along easily. So most people got the same answers. Now for number one, some people answered that we could use a pulley. I would also accept this answer because people drew a picture of them pulling all of the toys up the stairs. So that actually could work as well. But the answer that I was really looking for was an inclined plane and the wheel and axle. So well done. So those of you who handed in your homework are as follows. Ocean, Kitty, Sao, Ba, Hacker, Dami, Zaling, Leo, Michael, Tui Chi, Nuna, Zui Ming, Kiwi, Quang Hai, Mickey, Ming Huang, Simon, and Kaki. So well done to everyone for uploading your homework. Okay, guys, so let's get started with our actual lesson today. Today we are learning another reading comprehension. Today we're learning about lakes and oceans. So lakes and oceans are all bodies of water that we find in the world. Now, let's have a look at this little picture. Here are some of the vocabulary words that we are going to learn today. Uh, ocean, salt water, earth, lake, and fresh water. So, Oceans are very big. As you can see, all of the oceans are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Southern Ocean, and also the Indian Ocean is over here. So oceans are really big bodies of water that are not covered by land or are not surrounded by land. In the ocean, they have salt water. That means that you cannot drink salt water from the ocean. If you were very thirsty and you were in the ocean, 
you could not drink the salt water. It would make you feel very sick. If you drank a lot of salt water, you would feel very, very sick because it would dehydrate you. Now, the other parts of water we're looking at today are lakes. Have a look here. So the lakes are the small bodies of water that you can see that are surrounded by land. So lakes are much smaller than the oceans and lakes have fresh water. What that means is that there is no salt in that water. If you were very, very thirsty and you saw a lake, although you still might get a little sick because there might be rubbish or litter in a lake, you could drink the water. The water would be safer to drink from a lake than an ocean because it would be fresh water. All the water that we do drink does come from fresh water. It comes from mountains and then it's filtered out and cleaned and bottled for us to drink. Now, let's have a look. Very cute. Okay, who can tell me? This is the first vocabulary word. What do we think this is? Quang Hai, what planet is oh, this? The Earth. The Very Earth. good. Well done. It's the Earth. Very good. Now, can everyone say Earth? <laughs> Lovely. Well done. Okay. Now, we live on planet Earth. Planet Earth has a lot of water. In fact, it has more water than it does land. Oceans and lakes make up all of the Earth's water or most of the Earth's water. Have a look here. Our next word that we're learning today is lake. Can everyone say lake? lake. Lovely. Perfect. Lake. So as you can see from this video, we have a lake here. A lake is a body of water that is surrounded by land. So as you can see here, there is water in the middle, but all around the edges, it's covered with trees and soil and grass. So it is surrounded by land. Now, who can let me know what kind of water do we find in a lake? Do we find fresh water or salt water in a lake? Fresh water. Very good. You are right. There is fresh water in a lake. So in a lake, we can find lots of different types of animals. So who can help me? What animals can you find in a lake? Good. So fish, fish, fish. Yeah, you're right. Lots of fish. Crayfish. Very good, Teddy. What about eels? Shrimp. Good. Good. Well done, Kang. Alligators. Alligators and crocodiles live in freshwater lakes. Good. That's a really good one. Well done, guys. Okay. So yes, fish, dragonflies, alligators, shrimp, crayfish. Really good. Have a look at this screen again. Okay. What can we find in a lake? Well, let's have a look at this picture as it helps discuss some things. We can find a catfish. Hands up if you've ever seen a catfish before. Like this. I see lots of people fishing in a lake near me and lots of people um, catch the catfish. Yeah, very good. Teddy, you've seen a catfish before? Where have you seen a catfish before, Teddy? I've seen, I went to Highland, a coffee shop that mm -hmm. has a pond that's full of fish and I see one big catfish and my dad throw bread for it to eat. It oh, and did it eat, did it eat the bread? Yeah, very good. Well done, Teddy. Okay, so we can find x-ray fish, catfish, piranhas. Piranhas are very dangerous fish. They have extremely sharp teeth and they like to eat meat. So if you put your hand in a tank or a pond with a piranha, chances are that you would not have much of your hand left afterwards. We have guppies, which are very beautiful fish. We have discus, zebrafish, axolotl, shrimp, pike, tetras, and eels. So these are all the different types of animals that we can find in a freshwater lake. So well done, you guys. You all said fish. Some of you said shrimp. Amazing. Well done. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this is not a lake. This is the ocean. So the ocean is very different from a lake. Firstly, an ocean has salt water. So if we took a fish from a lake and put it in an ocean, what would happen to it? It will die. 
very good. Unfortunately, the catfish would die because the salt water, the chemical balance is completely different than the fresh water. So a catfish would not be able to survive in the ocean. The ocean is very salty and therefore the ocean has lots of different types of animals. So the ocean has salt water, very, very, very different from a lake. Now, what animals can you find in the ocean? Everyone, go back to the chat box, please. And let me make it public for everyone. Go to the chat box and type in animals you can find in the ocean. A shark. Ooh, three people. Shark, shark, shark. Very good. What else? What other animals can we find in the ocean? Good. A shell. Now, a shell isn't necessarily a type of animal, but yes, we find lots of shells. Dolphins, stingrays. <gasps> Amazing, guys. A whale, very good, Ming Huang. Well done, Quan Kai and Tui Chi. Whale, whale, whale. Shark. Yeah, a clam, amazing, well done. Leo, what is a Leviathan? I'm not sure I've heard of that one before. A whale, good. Octopus, who said that? Kang, very good, well done. Octopus, lots and lots and lots of different animals. A clam, good. Okay, I'm going to give 20 more seconds. Try and think of as many animals as possible and type them in. A crab. Yeah, good. So crab is C-R-A-B. Crab. Crab. Okay, amazing. Well done, guys. Lovely. So we've got crayfish, crabs, octopus, whales, fish, sharks, stingrays. Lots and lots and lots of animals. Well done. Let's have a look at the picture. So look at the screen. Doo -doo. So what kind of ocean animals can we see here? Well, Oh, we didn't say a turtle. So yes, turtles live in the ocean, a horseshoe crab, a whale, a clownfish, just like Finding Nemo, barnacles, which are almost like a shellfish, squids, seahorses, cuttlefish, sea squirts, dolphins, crabs, and oysters. So these are all the animals that we could find in the ocean, and there are many, many more. So ocean animals and freshwater animals are completely different. And if we took a whale or a turtle that lived in the sea or the ocean and put it in a lake, it would not be able to survive because the water is so different. Okay, let's get started on our reading comprehension then. So lakes and oceans. I would like someone to read the first sentence, three sentences from earth to them. So I'm just going to pick people. Um, Hannah and Emma, can you read from Earth to them? Earth is covered with water. Earth is ocean. Thanks are large body of water. Oceans and lakes. Hold most of the water on earth. Lakes and land all around them. Lovely reading, girls. Thank you. So, earth is covered with water. Oceans and lakes are large areas of water, and they hold most of the water on earth. Lakes have land all around them. Um, Le Kang, can you read from there are to salt? There are salt sand of lake on a almost all of this lake have fresh water. This means they do not have salt. Lovely, People lovely. That's okay, just a salt. Lovely reading. Thank you. Okay, I want a boy now. Sal, can you read for me? People and animals. People and animals can drink fresh water. Many plants and animals live in fresh water. People like to go to lakes to swim or fish. Very good. Thank you, Sal. So on this page, we're learning mainly about lakes. So lakes have land all around them. There are thousands of lakes on Earth. Most of the lakes have fresh water, which means they don't have salt. That also means that people and animals can drink the water. Lots of plants and animals live in fresh water. And lots of people like to go to lakes to swim or to fish. That's some very popular things to do there. Okay, next, I would like... Leo, Leo, can you read for me from Earth to water? 
Earth has only five oceans, active, Pacific, Arctic, and Atlantic. Arctic, Pacific, Pacific, Atlantic, Atlantic, Southern, Southern, and Indian. Indian. Lovely. And then this oceans. Ocean. Have salt water. Very good. Thank you, Leo. Thank you for reading. Perfect. Okay, so Earth has only five oceans, not thousands. We have five oceans and thousands of lakes. The oceans are the Arctic, Pacific, Atlantic, Southern, and Indian. So oceans only have salt water. Okay, um, Tui Chi, can you read the next part for me? From people all the way to planet. People cannot drink it because the salt will make them sick. But many plants and animals live in ocean. They are some of the largest animal. Largest on, and smallest. And smallest animal on the planet. Lovely reading. Thank you. So in the ocean we have salt water, which means we cannot drink it, but many plants and animals live there. The ocean homes the largest animal in the world the blue whale, and the smallest animals, which are small little creatures that you can't even see without a microscope. Um, Ming Huang, please can you read the rest for me? Many fishermen. Many fishermen go fishing in the oceans. Many people travel across the ocean to get to a different country. Lovely. Thank you for reading, Ming Huang. Okay, now. Let's have a look at the comprehension questions. So, Earth's oceans have salt water, small amounts of water, or land all around them. Ooh, I haven't heard from Kiwi today. Kiwi, can you tell me? Salt water. Very good. Well done. Earth's oceans have salt water. Amazing. Okay, number two. Lakes have what? Salt water, small amounts of water, or fresh water? Um, Quang Hai. Lakes have fresh water. Perfect. Well done, Quang Hai. Lakes have fresh water. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so who can tell me? Is this a lake or an ocean? I'm going to unmute everyone. Is this a lake or an ocean? Ocean! Very good. Well done. It's the ocean. What's this? Lake or ocean? Lake. Very good. Well done. Okay, guys, which do you prefer? Would you rather go to the ocean or would you rather go to the lake? Where would you rather go? To the ocean or to the lake? Everyone go to the chat box and tell me. So, Quang Hai said lake, Leo said ocean. Go to the chat box and type it in. Type your answer in. Ming Huang said lake. Sa Ling said ocean. Kiwi said ocean. I want everyone to tell me their answer. I want to know where you would rather go. I'd rather go to an ocean. Well done, Twitchy. Lake, ocean, ocean. So, so far, most people have said ocean. Lam said ocean. Le Kang said ocean. Oh, Teddy said lake. Very interesting. Okay, well, we'll move on anyway. Okay, so most people said the ocean, which is very interesting. I think I would also rather go to the ocean because I love going to the beach. So I love to go to the beach and go on holiday. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do today is we're going to help fill in this graphic organizer. This is called a Venn diagram. And on the outside of the Venn diagram, we have lots of different sentences or phrases that need to be put in the correct column. So either they can go in lake, oceans, or both. So we're going to do this together. Now, if you think you know the answer, I want you to raise your hand. So. There are thousands of these on Earth. Thousands on Earth. Is that going to be lakes, both, or oceans? Are there thousands of oceans, thousands of lakes, or thousands of both of them? What do we think? Uh, Le Kang. Lake. Good girl. Well done. Lakes. There are thousands of lakes on Earth. Good girl. Okay. Has fresh water. Hannah and Emma. Lakes. Very good. Fresh water is also going to go into lakes. Good girls. Okay, 
hold most of the water on earth hold most of the water on earth lakes both or oceans um teddy it's the ocean not the ocean but both both of them so the lakes and the ocean they make up most of the water on earth so this would go in both hold most of the water on earth good girl teddy okay people and animals can't drink it quang hai mm, but of uh, oceans very good why not mm, because ocean has salt water if we drink to lot of salt water we can die and mm -hmm. like fresh fresh water Miss very which good. Are question yeah okay what's the question quang hai but if the lake have lot of trash and dirty things can we drink it no definitely not so if you see trash or dirty things in the lake you cannot drink it so that's what i said earlier you can drink the water because technically the water is fresh water however in lots of lakes i have seen litter and coca-cola cans and rubbish and therefore it would not be safe to drink that water because it would be contaminated and dirty from all the rubbish which is very sad um, but that's a great question, Quang Hai. Okay, next, salt water. Where are we going to put salt water? Alam. Ocean. Very good. Ocean. In the ocean. Very good. Ocean. Good call. Good job. Well done, Lam. Okay, next, moving on to the right hand side. Land all around them. Tweechi. Lakes. Good girl. Lakes have land all around them, so they are enclosed between the land. Good girl, Tweechi. Okay, next. Plants and animals live in them. Kayla, can go ahead? Uh, both. Very good. Well done. Both. Plants and animals live in the ocean and in freshwater lakes. Good girl, Lekang. People and animals can drink it. Uh, Mickey. Lake. Good girl. Well done. Thank you, Mickey. Lakes. Next. Five on Earth. Let's go for Lam. The five ocean. Mm hmm. Good job. Well done, Lam. There are five oceans on Earth. Really good job. Well done. Okay, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a discussion. So we're just going to talk. Okay, who can tell me what are some things that we can do in the ocean? For example, you can go snorkeling in the ocean what that means is you get on a pair of big big goggles like this and you have a device that you put in your mouth that looks like a little pipe and it means that you are able to breathe through your mouth and swim so you can go and look at all the beautiful fish what else can you do in an ocean what are some things teddy you can make sandcastles and Play with friends in on the ocean. In the ocean. Good girl. So you can make sandcastles on the beach and you can play with your friends in the ocean. Perfect, Teddy. What else? Um, Kiwi, what else can you do in the ocean? Uh, I swim in the ocean. Good girl. You can go yeah. swimming in the ocean. Perfect. Well done. Okay, one more. Who can tell me one more thing you can do in the ocean? Leo. We can swim in the ocean. Yeah, very good. We can go swimming in the ocean. Perfect. Okay, well, what can we do in a lake? Can we do the same things in a lake that we can do in the ocean? Cindy. I can fish. Yeah, perfect. You can go fishing in a lake. You can go fishing and you can get some catfish and you can keep it as a pet if you want. Quang Hai, what can you do in a lake? We can swim in a lake. Very good. We can go swimming in a lake. Perfect. But, but when we swim in the ocean too long, our, our body can be hurt. Very good. If we go swimming for too long, our bodies can get hurt. So we have to make no, sure that... in the ocean. Oh, just the in the ocean? Why in the ocean? Because ocean has salt water and... There are too lot of sunlight and when we swim and the, our body can, from the sunlight, it can burn our skin. Very good. You're right. Well done. We have to make sure that we protect our skin when we go swimming. Okay, last but not least, 
Okay, guys, so we're running out of time, so have a look at your homework. Okay, homework is comparing and contrasting. So again, we have a written homework about our reading comprehension today. Have a look. Write a compare and contrast paragraph that explains how lakes and oceans are alike and different. Use information from your graphic organizer and the geography article. So this uh, PowerPoint will be emailed to your parents. So I want you to use this graphic organizer that we went through today, this Venn diagram, to help you write your paragraph. And what I want you to do, guys, is I want you to explain to me how oceans and lakes are similar and how they are different. How are they the same? So you could, your title could be Oceans and Lakes, and you could start off by saying, Oceans and Lakes are alike because they both have water. Blah, 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 blah. Then you could start off your second paragraph here by saying, Oceans and Lakes are different because oceans have salt water and lakes have fresh water. Then you could talk about the different animals that live there. It's up to you. I want you to use the graphic organizer this PowerPoint and the reading comprehension to help you write your paragraph. You have to explain to me how they are similar and different. Okay guys, that is the end of our lesson. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.